Last night here at five, we showed you this video of another violent confrontation between young African Americans and police in Southeast DC. The images are nothing new to one elected official in that area. He responded by tweeting, I'm telling you right now, DC, this will be a hot summer and one of your beloved DC police officers will get hurt. So was that neighborhood commissioner encouraging violence against police officers? It's an important question to ponder and one we got some answers to in an interview you will see only here on WUSA 9. Here's investigative reporter Eric Flack. Uh, so my intent was the tweet was very clear. You know, it's not a threat. This is the reality. People are tired and I'm concerned about officers who may get hurt. ANC Commissioner Anthony Lorenzo Green talked to me Thursday to set the record straight on his controversial tweet in the wake of another D.C. police confrontation caught on a cell phone camera. Let me find out. Let me find out. Here's what you tweeted. This will be a hot summer and one of your beloved D.C. police officers will get hurt. I tell you no lies. I'm not holding people back no more. Do you think that could be taken as a threat against police officers? I don't take it as a threat. Green is worried that tensions between police and young African Americans are reaching a breaking point, much like they did in the summer of 2018, when protests over the stop and frisk of a group of men on Sheriff Road led to an even uglier scene the next night in Deanwood. So we made it our business in Deanwood to pull people together so we wouldn't have incidents where folks were coming down to 60 to set cars on fire because that was the next step. Green believes that's where things are headed again after this latest video from Southeast in which a shouting altercation between a few people and a D.C. police officer escalates into a physical confrontation. Police charged three people, including a woman, with assault on a police officer, resisting arrest, and threats to do bodily harm. Witnesses at the scene claimed the officers didn't like the fact that they were being recorded on cell phone video. I've been telling folks Everywhere I go, pull out your phones, here's a card to know your rights, record every single interaction. Green says the more videos like this that surface, the more dangerous the situation comes for people on both sides. His words on Twitter, he says, meant to stop more violence, not encourage it. So if they don't take my warning seriously, it's on them. I'm doing everything I can to make sure that we don't have an explosion this summer of folks really you know, turning this into Ferguson and just taking it straight to the police officers. Now we asked DC police about that ANC commissioner's tweets, but they have not responded to those questions. A DC police spokesman did tell us the department is aware of this latest video and they are reviewing it. The department wouldn't say anything more about the video. Leslie, I did just get off a phone with the DC police union. They are very upset about the commissioner's tweets. We are awaiting a statement from the union, but they absolutely believe that his tweet was inciting violence yeah, against th police. These videos yeah. are really hard to watch. It's yep. not just caught on camera video. These are lives. This, this is, is trauma. Life. This is what happens. This, this is here. And so the bigger question is, how do we get a handle on these confrontations so yeah. that we so that we keep them from exploding? And, and, and the, the answer is trying to bridge the gap between police and these young communities in Ward 7 and 8 that clearly don't trust the police. But finding a way forward right now with the way it is right now it is uh, is a tough, tough road. Yeah, it is. All right, Eric, we'll be watching and we'll be hoping that we can be part of the solution here, okay. too. All right.